selling supercars is an art. Dealing with cars costing millions of pounds and the customers that want them is a specialism that not every car dealer can master. But there is a band of seasoned sales teams in the UK that have made selling million pound motors their life's work. In this special series of videos, I've been on the road to meet them. I am not a stereotypical car dealer. Look around their showrooms. I mean, this is not your normal garage, as I'm sure you can see. Check out their cars. and find out what it's really like selling out-of-this-world vehicles to some of the most demanding people on the planet. Back in 2005, lifelong friends Andrew North and Alexander Brimlow had enough of working for other people and decided to set up on their own. The pair started Alexander's, a luxury car dealership located in Boroughbridge, North Yorkshire, and quickly set about doing things their own way. They've named this The Unseen, a principle that runs through their entire business, hyper-focusing their team on the smallest of details to perfect the art of selling supercars. The pair say you'll never know about the cars they choose not to stock or the days spent detailing the ones they do, but they hope you'll notice their attention to detail when you walk into their showroom. But can this attention to detail combine with the cut and thrust of running a successful car dealership? Does focusing on the small things actually result in selling more cars? I am not a stereotypical car dealer. If you put me on a market stall and ask me to sell some oranges, if I didn't believe in the oranges, I wouldn't be able to sell them. This business is based on a passion. I uh, started at 16, uh, straight from school into the motor trade at the BMW dealership. Um, so I know I, I always wanted to work with cars. Um, and then 17 years ago, I decided to make the decision that uh, working, for my, uh, <laughs> working for someone isn't gonna pay the bills that I want. So I uh, decided with my business partner, Alex, to start Alexander's just we started with nothing and just work, worked our way up from there. I think the key to Alexander's is the fact that we sort of care about people that's internal and, and external so um, Alexander's it's a, it's a car business but it's a people business as well. With stock that includes everything from high-end Ferraris and Porsche models to Range Rovers and Aston Martins Alexander's has a wide and varied range of cars on display but one theme runs through them all. One of the things I've noticed walking around your showroom, I mean, I take, take this Rolls Royce as an example, is the meticulous attention to detail. I mean, they are beautifully prepared. Yeah. You do a lot of that on site, is that right? Everything on site. So um, we've got our own, our own workshop, body shop facilities, detailing centre. So everything's on site and it's fully controlled by us. So I mean, what sort of uh, process would you put a car like this through? Before we actually purchase it, we'll test for paintwork to make sure it's had no paintwork and everything such as that through the process. But once we've actually bought the car, it'll then go through the workshop, we'll do a full inspection, wheels off, into the engine bay, check absolutely everything electronically with the car. Uh, it'll then move to body shop for a full body shop inspection. So we often find small smart repairs and things such as that. So it'll then go through the body shop process and then it'll go to detailing for a final detail before it comes in the showroom, which is what everyone does, but it's about how the standard you do that makes the difference. And you do all of that in-house? All in-house. Walking through Andrew's perfectly laid out premises, it's certainly not hard to miss his perfectionism. The cars are lined up inch perfectly in a spotlessly clean showroom. The workshops are faultless and the valeting bays are sparkling. He even wants this interview to be flawless. Who's tearing up paper? Right, whoever's tearing up paper, stop it. You do things quite differently to, to other dealers, and, and by that I mean it's your, your attention to detail. Uh, well, I'm probably on the spectrum. <laughs> Every little thing matters, and all I want to do is someone leave here, whether they've been in for a service or they've bought a car, whatever it is, they, they leave from here thinking, I couldn't have got anything better. 
and I've actually exceeded it. So whether that's, whether that's going in the toilets and using the hand sanitizer that smells nice, or it's the fact that their car's been prepared to the highest possible standards, so they then go and tell 20 other people about their amazing experience, rather than something not quite going right, and then telling 20 people that they haven't had a good experience. So I, we, did a, we did a track day last Wednesday, and I sat with some clients in the cars, and I was very thankful they were thanking us for the track day, but they actually went out of the way to tell me about the experience that they had with the salespeople, and also tell me how many people that they'd referred to us, and I think, well, that is what it's all about. It, we may have suffered some cost somewhere in getting that car prepared to the highest standard, but if they've told 20 people, uh, you know, that, that's where it's going to come, and that's the longevity of the business. I'm, I'm always trying to look forward. Selling supercars might be a specialist talent, but these days there are plenty of dealers across the country plying their trade in the high-end market. So what is it that makes Alexander stand out? I think the way we can control our quality in-house, so we have our showroom, we have our workshop, we have a body shop, we have a detailing centre, we have absolutely everything in-house, so and then it's not subcontracted out, so I can control the quality from start to finish, so I know every single vehicle has been through our process because our staff are trained with the Alexander's way to know what to do, so I think from our point of view, uh, I think in order to prepare the cars, I know the quality is controlled, but also from a customer point of view, when we sell them the car, we have those facilities. I know main dealers have those facilities, but not many independents have the facilities that we have. Is it harder selling a car that costs hundreds of thousands of pounds compared to some of the cheaper stuff? Easier. The buying is the harder. So if, you, if you've got the right car, uh, it is, I, I, in, my, in my opinion, it's easier to sell because someone, someone doesn't need... Uh, a new 992 turbo, they want a 992 turbo, so if we can supply that, um, they don't need to really think, the customer doesn't really need to think about that, they've decided they want to buy it. So generally speaking, I would say it was easier. From a business model point of view, probably slightly more difficult because it's, it's higher risk, uh, but the actual sale itself is definitely easier. D describe to me your sales technique. Um, well, the first thing we tell when we're training our sales team is whatever you do, do not try and sell because we don't need to sell these products. We're, we're here to offer a service to our clients. So uh, our sales team are here to offer information, answer questions, do what the customer wants. So our technique is to just give customers what they want. Uh, whether that's, we might, some way we might lose out sometimes because we don't do any hard selling or any hard negotiation. But for us, our, our longevity of our business is gonna become from people enjoying ex the experience they have with Alexander's. Whether it's the company employees who clubbed together to buy their boss a Bugatti at Romans, or the client who turned up to buy a Lamborghini on the bus at Amari's, the dealers we've talked to in this series have at least one deal that's raised an eyebrow for them. What about Andrew? Um, well, one customer surprise is when he bought a, a new Bentley from us. It was a Continental GT with linen interior, so the, the cream interior. Uh, and the first thing he does is uh, opens the boot of his Range Rover, gets his massive, dirty lurcher dog out of it, puts it in the back of the Continental, and then gets his tumbler of whiskey and puts it in the centre console of the car. And, I'm, and I sat and looked at the car and thought, I can't believe he's just doing that. But his dog was his life, so <laughs> that surprised me somewhat. <laughs> Do you ever get surprised by how easy it is for people to buy supercars? I don't know because I look at the people that buy them and a lot of people think we may deal with sports stars and people such as that, which we do, but predominantly it's business people that, are, that have either sold their business or make good money or they're high up in their own, uh, they're high up in a, in a large conglomerate or something like that. So understanding what these people do in order to buy these cars, I'm not surprised that they can afford to buy them because they deserve it. dog-loving customers included, the deals the luxury showroom pulls off make for a profitable business. In its last published accounts, Alexander's Prestige Group revealed it turned over £71 million for the year ended August 2022. Profit before tax was £1.5 million, down from the £2.1 million they made the year before. But I get the feeling it's not about the money for Andrew, more about a love of selling cars and looking after his customers. For me, the brand is, is, is the key to it. And over the years as we've tried to build the business, 
uh, when, when we've been in the early years of the business, I've wanted to put out there that you don't have to be a stereotypical car dealer, but until we actually prove that to people, no one's going to know that. But now we've managed to prove to people that you can have a nice experience. Buying a car shouldn't be something that's like a distress or something where it has to be a hard negotiation. It should be a nice experience. So I don't know why people find buying cars sometimes isn't a nice experience. It should be. It should be one of the best experiences of your life. I think the best way to describe it is within our new branding that we've done. It's Alexander's The Unseen, and The Unseen is about everything we do behind the scenes. We don't shout about it, we don't tell everyone about it, it all just happens. So you, you leave as a customer, whatever, whatever it is you purchase, like I said, whether it's a service or a car, just thinking, I've got everything I've needed there. And that's, we're just quietly behind the scenes, just trying to do things right. Now what's clear to me after visiting these supercar dealers is that people really do buy from people. All of the showrooms we've visited are filled with personalities who are absolutely passionate about their businesses. While for some, it's clearly a love of million pound motors that gets them up in the morning, for others, it's the art of doing a deal. And in that respect, they're really no different to any other car dealer I've ever met. For more car dealer videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel or for the latest on the car industry, log on to cardealermagazine.co.uk for daily updates.